Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number one, characteristics and life processes of organisms. Today I will deliver its 10th lecture and what are we going to discuss today? Today we will discuss about the classification of plants. So as you know, we have already discussed that. Today we will discuss specifically about the differences among flowering and non-flowering plants. So my dear students, previous lecture we have plants ko categorized, kiya, classified kiya into two groups, flowering and non-flowering. And then we discussed about their similarities. So today we will discuss about their differences. So my dear students, let's quickly move forward towards the recap of the previous lecture. Listen to the question very carefully and then answer it. So quickly tell me, look at the pictures and then tell me what are similarities in flowering and non-flowering plants. Both have leaves, stem and roots. Very good. And next, both have photosynthesis process in them and both reproduce. So my dear students, next is an ice breaking activity. So for this activity, look at the pictures here. So here on the one side, you can see the flowering plant. And on the other side, you can see the non-flowering plant. So how flowering and non-flowering plants are different according to structure? The basic difference is that flowering plants have flowers bear, whereas on the non-flowering plants, there are no flowers. And after that, when you look carefully, there are other differences that come into them, which are seeds and other differences in them. So my dear students, how flowering and non-flowering plants are different according to reproduction. So the reproductive part of the flowering plant is the flower itself, whereas in the, re the reproductive part of uh, uh, the non-flowering plants, because they flowers not so they reproduce through their spores or uh, cones. In the cones, like the pine trees, so through that they reproduce. Unke andar inke seeds bante hain, jo ke jo hai, fir aage inko further jo hai, wo reproduce karne ke liye use hote hain. So my dear students, in today's lecture, the students will be able to classify plants in terms of flowering and non-flowering with examples and analyze the differences. Today we will discuss about the differences in flowering and non-flowering plants. So my dear students, let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective. So Allah says in Quran. He it is who uh, spread the earth for you and made it made in it paths for you and sent down water from the sky and then through it we brought forth many species of diverse plants. So my dear students, Allah Taala ne bhot saare jo hai wo diversity plants ki banai hai aur um, pani ke zariye bhot saare paude ugaaye hain aur itni diversity hone ki wajah se ham inko study karne ke liye humne inko classify kar liya hai among plant uh, flowering and non flowering plants. So my dear students, now let's quickly move forward towards the pre-reading question. So quickly listen to the question and then answer what similarities you see among flowering and non-flowering plants. Very good. Excellent. Now let's move forward towards the reading. I request you all to please open page number 12 in your science four books. I hope everybody has opened the page. So let's start the reading. Put your fingers where I will read. Differences among flowering and non-flowering plants. Flowering and non-flowering plants have contrasting features due to which they have been classified into separate categories. The major differences among flowering and non-flowering plants are given below. So my dear students, dono ke andar kafi contrast hai, kafi difference hai. Major differences in ke andar kya hai? Let's have a look. So flowering plants have flowers. While non-flowering plants do not have flowers, the major difference is that one has flowers and the other flowers are not. Number two, flowering plants reproduce through seeds, while non-flowering plants reproduce through buds and spores. So, the uh, flowering plants are these seeds ke through, uh, reproduce karte hai, inke par flowers bear hote hai, which have the reproductive organs. Whereas the non-flowering plants, inke upar seeds uh, ke upar karte hai. Or kuch ke upar seeds nahi grow karte, to they uh, reproduce through buds and spores. So some non-flowering plants uh, produce seeds, but their seeds are naked, while flowering plants have covered seeds. 
सो जो नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स के अंदर सीड्स होते भी हैं अगर तो दे आर नेकेड दे आर नॉट कवर्ड लाइक दीड्स ऑफ फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स सो फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स हैव वेल डिवेलप्ड रूट स्टेम्स एंड लीव्स ऑन द अदर हैंड मोस्ट नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स लैक प्रॉपर रूट सिस्टम एंड लीव्स तो माई डी स्टूडेंट्स एक और डिफरेंस ये है कि सम नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स डू नॉट हैव प्रॉपर लीव स्टेम एंड रूट स्ट्रक्चर वेयर एज ऑल द फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स दे हैव डिवेलप रूट स्टेम एंड लीव स्ट्रक्चर सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स डिफरेंसेज अमंग द फ्लॉरिंग एंड नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स आर फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स हैव फ्लॉर्स वेयर एज नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स डू नॉट हैव फ्लॉर्स ऑन दैम एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर्स दैन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स रिप्रोड्यूस थ्रू सीड्स वेयर एज नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स रिप्रोड्यूस थ्रू स्पोर्स एंड बर्ड्स सो है कि यू कैन सी लीव्स के नीचे आपको स्पोर्स नजर आ रहे हैं दीज आर द स्पोर्स ऑफ फर्नस जो कि फर्नस के अंदर लगते हैं वेयर एज फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स हैव सीड्स इन दैम ठीक है ये सनफ्लावर के सीड्स हैं सो दे ऑल्सो रिप्रोड्यूस थ्रू बर्ड्स इनकी बर्ड्स के थ्रू भी रिप्रोडक्शन होती है सो आपको स्पोर्स मैंने दिखा दिए ये लीव्स के नीचे अटैच हुए होते हैं ये किसी चीज़ के अंदर इनक्लोज नहीं होते सो अगर फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स के अंदर सीड्स हों भी तो दे आर नॉट इनक्लोज यानी कि वो इनक्लोज नहीं होते सो है यू कैन सी के जो सनफ्लावर के सीड्स हैं दे आर क्लोज आपको मैं प्रीवियस पिक्चर में दिखाती हूँ सो आप देखें कि जो सनफ्लावर के पिक्चर्स हैं दे आर प्रॉपरली क्लोज इन साइड द शेल सो अब यहाँ अगर आप देखें तो जो ये पाइन ट्री है ये पाइन कौन है इसके जो सीड्स हैं दे आर नॉट इनक्लोज इन एनी थिंग ठीक है नेकेड है ये समझ में आ गई आपको ये बात ठीक है इस तरीके से सो नेक्स्ट इज फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स हैव वेल डिवेलप रूट स्टेम एंड लीव सिस्टम वेयर एज नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स डू नॉट हैव वेल डिवेलप रूट स्टेम सिस्टम सो है यू कैन सी कि इसके अंदर प्रॉपर रूट्स भी हैं फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स में स्टेम भी है और लीव्स भी हैं सो है यू कैन सी नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स सम ऑफ द नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स डू नॉट हैव अ वेल डिवेलप रूट स्टेम एंड लीव सिस्टम जैसे कि आप देख सकते हैं कि आपको रूट्स स्टेम और लीव्स जो है आप उनको अलग अलग तरीके से आइडेंटिफाई नहीं कर पा रहे सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन फ्लॉरिंग एंड नॉन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स क्विकली मूव फॉरवर्ड टू वर्ड प्रोजेक्ट नंबर फोर सो लेट्स क्विकली फर्स्ट लुक एट द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑब्जर्व द प्लांट्स फ्रॉम योर सराउंडिंग एरिया होम स्ट्रीट नियर बाय गार्डन पार्क स्कूल एक्सेट्रा स्टडी देर फॉलोइंग करेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड रिकॉर्ड दैम इन द गिवन टेबल सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आपके पास यहाँ एक टेबल है आपको डिफरेंट जो प्लांट्स हैं अपने नियर बाय गार्डन से या अपने होम के पास से आपको सिलेक्ट करने हैं आपको उसकी लोकेशन हैबिटेट फ्लॉरिंग और नॉन फ्लॉरिंग दोनों में से वो क्या है और उनका क्या यूनिक फीचर है वो आपको लिखना है यू विल राइट डाउन द नेम ऑफ द प्लांट्स ओवर हेयर फॉर योर हेल्प यहाँ पे एक टेबल दिया गया है जिसमें रोज मनी प्लांट दर आई फाउंड नियर माई हाउस उनका हैबिटेट भी मैंने लिखा है दे आर फ्लॉरिंग नॉन फ्लॉरिंग आई टोल्ड दैट एंड वट आर द यूनिक फीचर्स इन दैम आई ऑल्सो टोल्ड दैट सो आपको अपनी पसंद के कोई भी फ्लॉर्स जो है वो चूज करने हैं एटलीस्ट फाइव एंड वाइट अबाउट दैम in this table so you can download this table from the description box below this video okay write down the name of your plant then their habitat then whether they are flowering non flowering and then any unique feature that you found in them find in them okay so this is how you will complete it okay now is the time for evaluation so my dear students for evaluation quickly answer the question what are differences among flowering and non flowering plants very good of uh, flowering plants have flowers non flowering plants do not have flowers flowering plants have seeds non flowering plants uh, reproduce through spores and buds and if non flowering plants have seeds their seeds are not enclosed like flowering plants so these are the differences among flowering and non uh, flowering and non flowering plants so my dear students now is the time for practice for practice you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher so my dear students write down your name and your roll number and then what are differences in flowering and non flowering plants according to flower so flowering plants mein flowers present hote hain non flowering plants mein absent hote hain reproduction uh, flowering plants reproduce through seeds the non flowering plants uh, reproduce through um uh, uh, spores and buds and seeds if the seeds are present then flowering plants have enclosed seeds whereas non flowering plants have naked seeds structure so the flowering plants have proper root and stem system uh, stem system whereas non flowering plants do not have a developed root stem and leaf system so this is how you will complete this worksheet 
Then next is there are different plants given here. So you have to categorize them under flowering and non-flowering. For example, moss is a non-flowering plant, whereas daisy is a flowering plant. So this is how you will complete the worksheet. Pause the video and complete the worksheet. I hope everybody has done it. Now let's move forward. So my dear students, now is the time for homework. For homework, what you will do is you will do question number three from section C on page number 24. So this is question number three, differentiate between flowering and non-flowering plants with examples. So you have to flowering and non-flowering plants with differentiation karna hai or examples bhi dono ki deni hai. How you will do it? You will draw a column like this. On one side, you will write flowering and on the other side, you will write non-flowering. Then one, two, three, four, the differences you will write, then you will give examples of each flowering and non-flowering. So this is how you will complete this question in your notebooks for homework. So my dear students, today what we have learned, today we have learned that flowering plants have flowers while non-flowering plants have no flowers. Next, flowering plants reproduce through seeds while non-flowering plants through spores and buds. Uh, flowering plants have covered seeds while non-flowering plants have naked seeds. Flowering plants have well-developed structure while non-flowering plants have uh, no well-developed structure. So my dear students, this is how uh, we have, this is what we have learned today. I hope now you know the similarities and differences between flowering and non-flowering plants. I hope you have enjoyed today's lecture and you have learned a lot of things from it. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.